Home sweet home. Oh, we've got our disembarkation info on the bed. Nobody wants to see that. Pshh. How's it looking out here in the world? Good, I'm trying to see if it's still filled. If it's still blocked off. <laughs> I can't tell. Yeah, I don't see the buoys in the water anymore. Like I think their peak filming time would have been while the sun was high in the sky. So probably 11, 12, 1. Maybe they would have wrapped by now. Except when we asked the guy how long it'd be closed, he said, I don't know. So, <laughs> yeah, it looks like it could be open. I see some kayakers. So let's bask one more time at Ocean Key. Yeah, there's the excursion dock, the excursion building, cute little shopping village. It's a cool place. So we started here, lighthouse, went over to sunset, bopped across to the lagoon, and diddly diddly bop, here we came. Not bad. All right, now we're on another adventure where failure is indeed an option. The buffet is only advertised as being open until three o'clock. It's 2.59. Now we really just want pizza, and we had heard that sometimes the pizza is available for more than just the buffet hours. It's supposed to be noon till 1 a.m. So okay, so we're gonna see. Can you get pizza after three? Ah, we just got confirmation. Pizza is still open. Washy washy. Too bad. Okay, they've still got full on buffet open technically, so no worries there. They got ravioli, fish, some other kind of goodness. We got pizza and salad. We got a red orange flavored, I think it's kind of like a vitality water type thing. I decided to get some shrimp ravioli, some fish, also some pizza, and a little bowl of something or other. It had cassava. It looked interesting. Bottled water cam. Grabbed a couple of bottles for the room. It is about 5.30 now, so it's all on board time. All is quiet. Hopefully everybody's back on. Oh, they have turned on the lighthouse with the little MSC logo rotating around it. It's like a miniature show. No music or anything that I know of. I'm still holding out hope that maybe they'll, you know, play us out of here with the show. We've got some drone crew wandering the beach down here. I don't know if they're attached to the camera crew that has already been filming around the ship. Um, if so, we're probably getting ready to leave them behind, but... Maybe that's the plan. Whee! Oh, blurry! <laughs> we are officially sailing away. I know. Into the sunset. The camera makes it look bright. Look at us kicking up all that thruster thrust. Hear the whirring sounds of drones in the air. Street lights and things just kicked on around the island. Ooh. Turn the bees up. Bzz, 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 bzz. A little drone up there. Actually, it's a pretty sizable drone. They got the good stuff. They landed their drone safely. And away we go. Back to Miami. We're not that far, are we? <laughs> I'm waiting for them to yank the plug on the lighthouse to be like, he's done flying his drone. Bzz, bye. Turn it <laughs> off. <laughs> Power it down. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Gotta get all those action shots. <laughs> you see us in the promotional footage, you know why. <laughs> yes. We're determined to make it into this promo video one way or another. Goodbye, Lighthouse Bay. We miss you, most of you, the parts of you that we could use. This section. Burn. Yeah. Just that part. Not that part, <laughs> but this part. Uh, <laughs> we're so mean. We just tell the truth. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Blinded by the light. I'm trying to get like a really cool shot. Oh, and they did. <laughs> brrr, That's all right. Hilarious. Power her down. <laughs> Well, that was, that was all the lighthouse you get. Like we gotta save that. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, never mind. Um, Are you gonna do a show? Do we get a very quick show as we leave town? Oh, oh, they were oh 
Oh, they are doing a little something. Hey, hey, y'all you know, you know we just laughed, right? Now you make us cry this time because we can't see it. <laughs> That's so funny. We're so mean. <laughs> and there goes Ocean Key sailing away into the distance doing a show without us. Oh, see, so yeah, the drone's not me. Yeah, the drone's getting the show on the lighthouse as we sail away into the background. <laughs> Y'all, please go find this video and yeah. watch it because I'm sure these shots are amazing. amazing. But mm -hmm. anyway. We'll never know until we watch it. <laughs> Y'all, we are cleaned up after our day at Ocean Key. Yeah. Back on the ship, now getting ready to sail back towards Florida. We'll be there in the morning, actually. We should be there in like 10 minutes. That's, That's true. It's very not very close. far. But, yep, today is the last full day, so tomorrow is Disembarkalabution Day. That one. We're keeping it a little casual tonight. Yeah. Now, I am wearing pants and sock of the day, so don't worry about it. But it's actually, is it almost 7? Yeah, it's pretty late because we were trying to see what would happen for sail well, away. You know what? <laughs> People in the Facebook group are a little upset about that lighthouse shimmy. Not against. too happy. I mean, anyway. it, to be fair, it never said they were having a lighthouse show or anything like that. No, it didn't. No, so I mean, you know, it is. What it, it was is. just a little tease. Maybe they <laughs> get, it got everybody funny. all excited, and they're like, mm -hmm, "Just kidding." It's, it's funny, funny and not funny. I know, but we're gonna head up to the buffet for yeah. dinner and just see what the heck. So we're gonna play a little casual. We're not like blue. super hungry because we had pizza not too long ago. That's true. But they have good options up there, so we'll go see what they have. Yeah, it's like we skipped breakfast, but then we had lunch at like eleven, 11. and then we ate pizza at like, like three. three something. So <laughs> Our now schedule it's, is way off. It's buffet dinner at like seven. <laughs> eh, so. That's fine. Let's roll up there All and right. check it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we have breads and fruits and cold cuts and cheese. What's happening over here? Orange chicken and stir-fried teriyaki tofu. It looks like, is that salad or burger toppings? Oh, Caesar salad station. Meat meat slicing. Oh, there's your burgers, grab and go and fries. There's a little salad bar. What's happening up here? I see pastries, so sweet treats, nice. Oh, there were sandwiches up here at the front. There's focaccia with tuna salad, grilled cheddar cheese, and bacon, okay. That is a fruit type section and some ready to roll salads. Rice, pasta, mashed potatoes, vegetables, that is some fish, more rice, and grilled pork chops, and of course, pizza. We're not super hungry, so we went with the pork chop, veggies, and mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh, we got twinsy dinners. <laughs> we are twinning tonight. You except copied me. I added the fruit cup and you did not. <laughs> now our bellies are full. We're going to head and try to find some live music. Look at us upside down in the reflection up there. That's weird. So Liberty Plaza past all the shiny, shiny stores. Let's wander into the Brooklyn Cafe. We got some jazz guitar. I got all sorts of glare in there. Um, so his set is done, and now another, I guess maybe duo or something, is setting up to play some more tunes. That was really so, I like that. Yeah. Looks like we've got a piano and an electric upright bass happening. <laughs>
out here to the dueling pianos now. I think they said it was 90s into the millennium night. to the theater for That's Amore. Which we got here just as they were opening the doors today. It's 8.30, we early. Oh, there's some other early birds. So this show is supposed to be about all things Italy. Italia. A celebration of Italia. I think we saw a similar show We did, Armonia. Italian Touch. I'm assuming it's probably pretty similar, but it was Maybe. good, we liked it, yeah. True, well, here comes a random photo montage because that's about <laughs> all we can pull off, so. True. Pa. <laughs> Enjoy. Our roots are Italian, so tonight we celebrate that with some great music, some that you've heard, and possibly some that you haven't become your new favorites. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage all our international entertainers in that Samore! <laughs> Uh, we wish all of you a safe and onward journey, a happy holidays, whatever you're celebrating, I hope you'll celebrate it with your friends and family, those that are dear to you. We hope to see you once again on another beautiful ship around the world. Let's give our entertainers one more big round of applause. And as always, our ushers will get into place, and they will, uh, they will escort you out of the theater so that we can maintain social distancing. It's been our great pleasure. Good night. Great day in the morning. Gingerbread house with Olaf. What? I don't know. That magically popped up. That's cool. Look at all this. Yeah, that's awesome. It just makes me hungry. It smells good. It's real gingerbread. Did you say they had Olaf and Minions and all that? Anyway, I think that's the wrong cruise line. Anyway, and actually, they, the two of those don't even go yeah, together, like do they? Aren't a, no, they're really not. Nice. That's right. Anyway, we're heading back to the cabaret. Yes. That show was awesome. That, that was, was like the best that was the vocal best show for sure. Yeah. And, um, there's an operatic duo and then a non-operatic duo and like it was beautiful. Like go check out that show. Wow. Yeah, I remember oh, we, we really like why are we so bright? We really liked the Italian show last time. Oh, too, it was so good. Show. Got a big oh. standing ovation and they deserved it. Yes. 100%. So Monet's soiree is tonight in Le Cabaret. Well, we have got prime center stage viewing positions tonight. Woo! Welcome everyone, thank you for spending your final evening with us here in the Cabaret Rouge. Welcome to Monet's Soiree.
We have come back to the cabin to find nothing. <laughs> nothing. Ooh, ooh. Oh, good night. Good night. We still have to pack. <laughs> yeah, true. We have not started yet. Was just, no. Speaking of luggage in the hall. Anyway, uh, packing time. So yeah. how was your last day? Overall, it was absolutely amazing. Yeah, Couldn't have asked so... for a better last day. Honestly, like to wrap it up, the show, the Italian show was phenomenal. It was. That was my favorite vocal show. And the cabaret. Oh, that was my favorite. Like all of them are good, but the Monet was so good. We got mm. amazing seats. True. And you can tell everybody in the show loves what they do. They just have so much passion and it makes me emotional. Oh, no. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> yeah, it was so, so sweet. All right, but that is it for today. <laughs> so tomorrow we are back in Miami. Yes. The adventure doesn't end. We're going on no. to something else. But anyway, um, yeah, so Miami tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll see you then. Yeah. I think that's all the words we need. So. For now. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good morning from Miami. We're back. Bienvenido a Miami. <laughs> So we're getting ready to hop off of the ship. We decided to just skip breakfast and roll no. on to the next adventure. No food. <laughs> I know. You know what? We had some good food. We did. We had some mm, food, but good overall. Mostly so good, yeah. I'd say we enjoyed our return to MSC. Yes. We missed that little small ship vibe of Armonia a little bit, but where you get to know all of your like cruise staff. There's and like 17 of them out here. That'd be hard to get to know, but we did make some amazing acquaintances. We did. Yeah. So good overall, mm -hmm. ex except, well, I haven't put in the shower with Jay. You'll see. It's coming up. <laughs> it's coming up next. I usually put it at the end of the video for some reason. Stay tuned. But that's it. So we're going to jump off of yeah. here um, and roll on. Yeah. So I guess that's it. Any final MSC words for now? No, it was great overall. Um, yeah. You know, and the only things I've heard is like food is so subjective yes. for, for people. So we've heard a little bit of hit and miss with that. We experienced it a little bit, but for the most part, we enjoyed everything. A little bit of strange things with like the drinks. So like yeah. tea is a little bit strange. Orange juice People is a little bit weak. like weak. It's watered down. Um, what else? Lemonade was a little funky. So oh, just yeah, you had that. <laughs> some drinks were a little bit drink <laughs> uh, strange. But like the drink package was good. Never had any issues with that, that at all. So yeah. just some things to think about mm -hmm. if that's important to you. Yeah, and like on Italian night, you know, some people said, "Oh, I got the asabuco. It was great." And yeah. you know, we're like, "Oh, we got the chicken parmesan. It was." <laughs> so a lot of it depends it's all on about what your choice. you order. Ooh, but the coffee is phenomenal. Yes, and it comes with the easy plus package. And the pizza is still best pizza at sea. Yeah, so sure. you know what? There's some super highs. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway. I guess that's it for now. Mm -hmm. So if you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep, and until next time. <gasps> rock, rock on. on. Bye. And now it's time for In the Shower with Jay, MSC Seashore Edition. Hmm. Now before we hop in the shower, we also have to talk about this toileting situation. I know somebody said we should start a series called On the Toilet with Jay, but we're not going to go there. This little sink area is very prohibitive to um, toileting in this cabin and I actually have found that I have to open this door to give my knee enough room to, you know, not, not to be weird, but to actually sit properly and do some business on this toilet. Now moving over to the shower, you know, it's a nice little glass door model and then, oh my gosh, where did the space go? Now, you know, it might not look super tiny but for a guy like me this is like a dagon sarcophagus shower so um it's been interesting in here to say the least now granted it has all the comforts like a detachable shower head and a clothesline and a nice sandwich shelf in the corner and warnings to not burn yourself on hot water grab bar shavy foot doodly do and easy to use controls yeah problem arises when we go to use the shower. So now a shower can be pretty, but a shower also needs to be useful. So I'm about the same width as this door. There's problem number one, and that's me sideways. You know, now normal folk, you might be fine in here, but these are my shower reviews. So this is how did the shower work for me? Okay, so we're gonna get in here. We're gonna close the door. Now we're gonna be getting up real close and personal. Now, let me see. There's only one correct way to stand in this shower, and that is, you know, this method. So we've got three or four inches of play in any given direction, which is not bad. I've been able to get done what I need to get done, if you know what I mean, but that requires a lot of like squatting in place and kind of like reachy, stretchy stuff and trying not to like booty the door open with my booty when certain things happen. It's, it's, 
this one's been a struggle. Uh, and part, one of the problems too, when you're showering, this little dude gets really hot. So if you ever need to do anything, oh, I just hit the glass, to the back half of your body, you have to move your body forward and you burn yourself on this little sucker. Not ideal. So let's get out of here because I'm getting claustrophobic. <laughs> back out into the real world. So. I am officially declaring this cruise bathroom my least favorite cruise bathroom ever on any ship in the history of my cruising. And that's just for my personal benefit. Now, like I said, normal folk may be fine in here, but for me, worst bathroom ever. And that's a combination of the toilet and the shower. So, let's, I'm not going to be taking the toilet into account, but we'll go ahead and give the sarcophagus a rating. So. Yeah, we've had some tight squeezes, but this one has been interesting, so anyway.